When the COVID-19 pandemic began in early 2020, officials say scammers saw that as an opportunity to hike up prices and create false claims of cures and treatments. Tonight, our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp has more on the congressional members accusing the Federal Trade Commission of not doing enough to protect consumers. Researchers and analysts say since the coronavirus pandemic began, they've seen a wave of scammers advertising products that are counterfeit or don't do what they claim. During 2020 and 2021, Customs and Border Protection seized some 34 million counterfeit masks, half from China. We're also seeing fake COVID test sites. The sites look real with people in hazmat suits. You may get charged for a test that's supposed to be free, or your information is used to steal your identity and, oh, you don't get test results. And scammers aren't stopping there. They're hiking up prices on COVID-related products like home test kits and face masks. In January 2021, we researched 750 products such as face masks and cough syrup. And for each, we looked at the price in December 2019 and in December 2020. And out of the 750 listings on Amazon, 409 saw price increases of more than 20% and 136 at least doubled in price. Price gouging and scamming has deeply cost consumers. The FTC estimates has come to consumers $700 million. It is unacceptable. What in a heated of, back and forth, senders accused the Federal Trade Commission of issuing more cease and desist warnings rather than lawsuits against scammers. You brought only three cases under COVID related, the COVID-related Consumer Protection Act. I completely agree, Senator, that we need to bring more cases and we will be bringing more cases. It's certainly important that we get these claims taken down quickly, but it's also critical that we not allow scammers to profit from preying on American consumers. Senators say there needs to be greater enforcement at the federal level. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting. In both New York and Pennsylvania, it's a crime to price gouge products. We reached out to the New York and Pennsylvania attorney generals to see how many fraud or price gouging claims they've received and prosecuted, but we did not hear back. 